Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure, amen, to be back to bring forth another word, the word of God. Uh, Coming from the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, amen, which is one of the most popular scriptures in the Bible. And so I decided to go ahead and teach on this lesson and to bring forth some prayer points. Uh, This scripture has actually helped me for the past couple of days. I went online looking for some prayer points and I came across this teaching amen uh, concerning the word of Jeremiah and how God wants us to know our purpose and our destiny how God wants us to develop trust you know not just faith but trust in him and believing in him when he begins to minister to us amen because God already knows everything about us he already knows what concerns us and who contends with us amen so but but God wants us to have faith amen in the midst of waiting And for the past couple of days or weeks, I have been waiting for God to do a big transition in my life. And I am still waiting, but I I know within my heart, amen, that I am close to my breakthrough. So, Father, over to you in the name of Jesus. I pray that whoever, whomever, hears the sound of my voice, that they too will have their deliverance. They will have their breakthrough, amen. And those who don't know who you are, don't know your purpose and plans for their lives, I pray that they will begin to seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness amen and all these things shall be added unto them I pray father God that they will begin to allow the word of God by faith through your son Jesus Christ to minister to them amen to affirm their relationship with you with the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 8 through verse 10 amen that they will acknowledge the, your son out my Lord my savior amen as the living God, amen, the one who died on the cross for our sin, amen I praise you Father God that by his stripes that we are healed, so I'm, I'm praying for healing right now, for whomever's waiting right now, waiting for God to heal them, to bring completion and wholeness to their life, I thank you Father God that your word says in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a to give you hope and a future, then you will call on me and come to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Amen. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare your promise your promises. I declared your promises, God, because there are many promises in your word right now. But I speak that word right now over each individual who hears me, no matter what your situation is, I pray that you will trust God and have enough faith to believe he is going to do the very thing he said he would do according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and 13. In Jesus name, amen. Praise God, amen. Thank God for the prayer. We just welcome you, Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit right now to come in and to begin to minister to the hearts of those who hears the word of God. But it's also good to be a a doer of the word. Amen. Not just being a hearer, but being a doer, making the word lively in you, in you, you know, by applying and living the word of God. You know, this is the word of God says that. God, you know, supplies all our needs, you know, and the word of God says that he is our father, you know, we are to acknowledge him, acknowledge his presence. He is the one that supplies. He is the one that gives us our daily bread. Amen. So he's already given us provisions. Amen. To do the things that we need to do for his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven but we have to know how to make the word of God applicable in our lives amen so people could begin to see our fruit so people can begin to see the light of God in us amen they're going to know that we're struggling but they're going to see that we are really leaning on God we're not leaning on our understanding but we are leaning and trusting in God amen we are continually I am, amen, you are, whomever's listening, continually seeking God's grace, amen, because we need God's grace in our life, we need God's grace, we need his mercies upon our lives, amen, that's why it's important to study the word of God and to 
pray amen not just read the word but study to show thy self-approval amen because god wants to do something new in your life i i always confess that and i'm completely entangled with that word i believe that god wants to do something new in your life i don't see god doing anything different amen because behold he wants to do a new thing in you do you not perceive it amen He wants you to forget about those things that are old and look to the things that are new. Amen. Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. Praise God. So, you know, uh, there's many versions of the scripture. Amen. But having a version is one thing, but having the understanding is the other. And when you begin to understand God's word and understand his promises within his word. See, we inherited the promises of his word that he gave to his elect amen who the the children of israel they inherited those promises through father abraham uh, father isaac and father jacob amen they inherited those promises through the covenant that god made with abraham and we inherited the new covenant through the shed blood of his son jesus christ amen so we have inherited promises from god amen we have inherited his wealth amen we have inherited his power we have inherited so much stuff through the shed blood of jesus christ and there are many benefits in the blood of jesus christ but one of the things that god wants us to know and understand that he has plans for us amen god has plans for you he has plans for me amen and within those plans we're gonna have to wait just like the children of israel they waited over 400 and something years for god's plans to manifest amen but in the midst of waiting they were serving other gods they were living another lifestyle they was doing things that was displeasing to god but abba father heard their cry because God made a promise to their forefather, Father Abraham. Amen. And so God is a promise keeper. No matter what your situation is, do not be discouraged because God will fulfill his promises. God will fulfill his plans. Amen. The purpose that he has for you. For he said, I know the plans I have for you. So God knows. So we have to learn how to plan for our daily living you know for our lifestyle we got to plan to pay our rent plan or mortgage or whatever the situation is we have to plan but this is the time that many of us including me we need to really seriously sit down and revisit the scripture jeremiah 29 verse 11 and begin to look at what god is saying god is saying for i know the plans i have for you God knows the plans. So we need to go back to the Father and ask our Father, what are those plans? Amen. What are those plans? Because what are the plans specifically he has for us? Amen. Now the scripture continues to say the plans that he has are good. Amen. Uh, The plans that he has um, are not going to do us no harm. It's not going to bring no disaster. Amen. The plans that he has for us is going to give us a future, a future of hope. Now, when you look at the scripture, Hebrews 11, verse one, it says now faith is the substance of things hopeful. So you could align the word of God. Amen. And begin to see that the substance that God has for us. Amen. It's entangled with Jeremiah 29, verse 11, verse 13. Praise God. So God wants us to know the plans that he has for us, the hope that we have in our future. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And so we have to go to God and ask God, what are the plans? Because they are not seen. They're not seen. And then when you begin to call on God in the midst of asking, you begin to call and you will pray to God. Then you're going to listen. Amen. And he said, the scripture says, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. So God is going to listen, but it's going to, it's going to require us to listen to him too, because it's an open communication because God is saying, when you call on me, when you pray to me, I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. And when you seek me with all your heart, God says, seek me with all your heart. Amen. God wants you to understand his heart and purpose. This is a, a, an invasion. Amen. God wants you to 
allow him to invade your situation here on earth as it is in heaven amen God wants you to understand that his promises are just as real as they were then and now and forevermore he is a, he's a God that never changes amen he is the same yesterday today and forevermore there's nothing impossible for God amen we you know all things are possible for God amen when you look at the word of God Hebrews uh, 11 verse 6 it says in Hebrews 11 verse 6 it says um praise God it says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe you must believe amen that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so it's going to take your faith to believe amen and receive amen but you got to diligently seek him I want to go back to that scripture again because it because Hebrews 11 really ties up with Jeremiah 29 amen verse 11 and 13 he he says right here but without faith it is impossible to please him amen so in the midst of seeking God according to Jeremiah when you begin to seek God God is saying right here you will find me and when you seek me with all your heart but you got to go and pursue him in the midst of seeking you got to pursue him in in the midst of pursuing him you got to understand his purpose and his will for your life amen and that's why it's important to do what he says to do in the book of jeremiah he says that you come and you're going to find me you know with all your heart i want you to find me with all your heart i want you to find me and 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 in the midst of that he's saying that i'm going to give you hope and in those days when you pray i would listen and so God is going to give you hope. And just like I said in Hebrews 11, 1, hope is the substance of things not seen. You know, faith gives us evidence and we hope for it. We constantly hope for it. In the midst of hoping, we are seeking God and we're going to find him. Amen. We're going to find him. And that's the key thing. Let's go back to Hebrews 11, verse 6. Amen. I'm so excited for this word because the word of God manifests quickly. When we align ourselves with the word of God and agree with the word of God, things happen expediently. Amen. It says again, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. You must have faith to please God. Amen. There's no doubt about it. It says right here, for he that cometh to God must believe. So when you're seeking God, that's a, that, that means you're going to have to come come to God. Like he said, you're going to call on me. You're going to pray. That's coming to God. But in the midst of calling and praying, you must believe he is present tense. He is, he's a living God. Amen. He's all mitigant God on that present God. Amen. He's everywhere and he's a right now God now faith he's now right now and his faith gives us hope amen and it says right here and he and and that he is a, a rewarder so he's is gives us an active amen God is forever active he is not a dead God like I said earlier he is a living God is a living God he is a rewarder of them who is them whoever that seeks after God who diligently seek after God with their whole heart. Amen. That believes that God is going to reward them. Amen. When they begin to trust that God has plans for them. God said, for I have plans for you. When you begin to believe that God has plans for you, you will have the ability to begin to seek after the things that God has for you. It says in the word of God, delight yourself in the Lord and he will fulfill the desires of your heart. When you begin to pursue God and you begin to seek God and you begin to call on him and you begin to pray and he's going to listen. Amen. He's going to reward you. But that's because you're beginning to understand your purpose here on earth. It's because you're beginning to understand that the plans that God has for you is is going to equip you for the things that's getting ready to come your way. Amen. (laughs) Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to read the next version. um, James, King James Version. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. That's what God says. I know what I'm thinking about you. Amen. God knows he knows what he's thinking about you. He's thinking about me. God is thinking about peace about us. He is Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. Amen. 
He's not thinking of evil towards us. Amen. And he's ready. God is ready. He is able and he is ready to give you and me an expected end. Amen. But in the midst of waiting, God is saying, call upon me. (laughs) While you are waiting in the midst of your season, while you are waiting with expectations, while you are waiting for those dreams to come to pass and those visions to manifest and those prophetic words to come forth, you know, to break through in your life. There's some things you need to do. And that, that that's waiting on God. That's having the expectation of God. Amen. Wait on him. Amen. God is good. You know, he's good to wait on. Amen. You know, they that wait on upon the Lord. Amen. He's going to renew your strength. Amen. But in the midst of waiting doesn't mean you don't do nothing. Because in the midst of waiting, you have to pray. You have to call on God. And in the in the midst of that, he is listening to you. But God is saying, my thoughts that I think towards you. He said, I know. You know, God said his thoughts are way higher than ours. God said his ways are way higher than us. God, it is not at our level. He's at a higher level. So that's why we ought to give him that reverence, you know, give him holy reverence and believe and trust in him and believe that the thoughts that he has for you right now, right now, Jehovah Shalom is speaking peace into your situation because that's all he's got on his mind is to give you peace and not evil, to give you an expected end. And he said, when you call on me, amen. And when you come and you pray unto me, I'm going to hearken unto you. I'm going to listen and I'm going to answer you. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. It's going to take your heart. Amen. Your heart must be engaged with the word of God. You must be in sync with what God is saying to you right now. You got to search him. You got to find him. Search him. God is hiding. Amen. He's in his hiding place. Review Psalms 91 and, and align that word. Amen. He is in his hiding place. And, and where God is hiding, that's where we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So when you look at the word hiding and, and his dwelling, amen. Just go back to Psalms 91. The word of God aligns itself up. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So right now we're going to just get into the prayers. I found these prayers online with a ministry. Amen. And I will give you the name of the ministry at the end. And this ministry has multiple prayers. And I think it's going to help a lot of people. It has helped me. Amen. So it's a great pleasure to share with you their prayers and their messages amen and hoping that you would do the same also for somebody else that may be struggling right now right now amen praise god so the prayer points is coming from jeremiah 29 verse 11 and 13 abba father thank you for your word abba father thank you for your word that breathes life into us Yes, Lord, we thank you for your word, Abba Father, your word that breathes life into us, your word that revives the dry bones in our lives. Yes, Lord, your word revives the dry bones in our lives. Your word revives the dry bones in my life. Your word revives the dry bones in all of our lives. For those who are listening and hearing the sound of my voice, I pray, Father God, that this season of discouragement will be over now. I thank you, Father God, that those who need to be reassured that your plan is a good plan. Yes, Abba Father, I pray that they will receive the word. Amen. And believe that your plans are a good plan. Yes, Lord, your plan for our lives is to bring prosperity and peace. (laughs) Yay, Lord, your plan for our lives is to bring prosperity and peace. There is no evil in you. So anything that you bring to us is not for evil, but for good. Amen. Anything you bring to us, Abba Father, is not for evil, but for good. Thank you, Abba Father, that even when the enemy sends the bad things our way, we know that you are going to turn it around for our good. Yea, Lord, you're going to turn it around and around and around, and you're going to make it for our good, God. You're going to turn it all around for our good. 
And we thank you, Father God, and we bless your holy name. We thank you, Father God, that the adversity strengthens and builds character in us, that we can walk into the purpose. We can walk into our purpose with readiness because we have been tried by fire. God, we look to you for direction. Yea, Lord, we look to you for direction in all areas where we are uncertain, in all areas where we are uncertain. Make your will clear to us, Abba Father. Make your will clear to us. Show us the path. Show us, Abba Father. Show us the path, Abba Father. Show us your word. Show us your promises, Father God. Because every day your word breathes life into us, Abba Father. Every day your word revives the dry bones in our lives, Abba Father. Abba Father, we thank you for the plans that you have for us. The plans to bring prosperity and peace. We thank you, Father God, Father God, that though we are going through the season of discouragement, we know, God, that you are there to reassure us that your plan is good. Yea, Lord, we will no longer be distracted, God, by the things of this world. Anything that is not of you, we will not be distracted in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we earnestly seek you with our heart, knowing that your word says that when we seek you, we will find you. If we seek you with our whole heart, yeah, Lord, my heart seeks you, God. My heart seeks you, Abba Father. Today, God, we come to you wholeheartedly. We come to you, Father God, with our mind, body, and soul, and spirit, seeking your guidance, seeking direction, seeking wisdom, seeking understanding into the things that concerns us, into the things that contains contains us and concerns us, the the things that contains with us and and our families and, and those who are close to us, our loved ones and family and friends. Amen. Hey, Lord, we humble ourselves as at your feet and ask you to not only hear this prayer, but respond, God. Yay, Lord, you are the responder. We speak your word and you respond, God. Yeah, Lord, you respond so that we know the next step to take. Speak, Lord, speak. Hear from heaven and answer our prayer. We will wait patiently to hear you answer, knowing that you will indeed answer. Give us grace to receive what it is that you are speaking into our lives, our health, our family, our finances, our relationships, our ministry, our government, our world. Grant us willing hearts to obey everything that you will speak. Bind the hand of the enemy from bringing confusion and father god as we bind the spirit of confusion we loose the spirit of clarity to walk in prosperous purpose and plans that you have for us in jesus name we pray amen and we thank you father god for the prayer i thank you father god that whoever's going to listen that they will play this prayer over and over again that they will get it into their spirit man abba father that they will begin to receive what you have for them amen amen we praise god and we give god the honor amen so with that saying the the, the ministry that i received these prayers from online is called missionaries of prayer Amen. Missionaries of prayer.org. You can find that prayer and many more. Amen. Um, this ministry is really about praying with the word of God. It's about having faith. Amen. It's about having a vision and a mission. Amen. And, you know, having the opportunity to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Without wavering, without doubting. Amen. But trusting in God and believing in God that he is going to do the impossible. Just like the word of God says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, we got to believe. Amen. He is that he is we got to believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him but the word of god says in the beginning but without faith it's impossible to please him 
For he that cometh to God must believe. So the key thing is when you begin to align yourself with the word of God, you must believe, amen, that he is. That's the activity, that's the activity word right there. Is, 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 is. You must believe that he is, amen. And he is a rewarder, amen, of them that diligently seek him. So I pray that you begin to diligently seek the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, with all your spirit, amen, that you begin Begin to make connections with God through your prayer and your worship, amen, prophetic worship, amen, that you will begin to trust in the Lord with all your heart, amen, without wavering, without doubting, amen, but believing that God has already done the very thing he said he will do, amen, God is able to do the impossible because he is God, amen, he is God Almighty, he is the God of Israel, he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he is the God of our forefathers, amen, so we trust and believe in the name of the Lord. We trust and believe in the power of the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So whoever you are, I pray that the word of God will locate you. Amen. Because the word wants you to be set free completely. Amen. Amen. So we just give God the praises in Jesus name. And I'm your host, prophetic utterance, Jacqueline King. Amen. And right now I'm going to play a song by Kevin Lavar called your destiny. In Jesus' name, may God be your portion. May he increase you. May he multiply you. Amen. This is not the time to get distracted. This is not the time to go off course. This is not the time to lose your focus. You've got a word to do for the Lord. And you cannot afford to lose your way. You come too far from where you started. So please don't let the time you've sown be wasted. On things that you'll later regret Wishing you never had Once you realize it wasn't worth it Your destiny Is too important to give up for anything Yeah, yeah This is not the time to get distracted, no, 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 and this is not the time to go on call, no, it isn't, no, 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 this is not the time to lose your focus, got a work to do for the Lord, and you cannot afford to lose your way, you come too far. From where you started So please don't let the time you've sown be wasted On things that you'll later regret Wishing you never had Once you realize it wasn't worth it Your destiny Too important to give up for anything. I came here to say your destiny. It's too important to give up for anything, anything, anything. Waiting on the other side of temptation, waiting on the other side of this test. It's everything you've ever dreamed, everything you prayed for, everything he promised you that you'd get. Waiting on the other side of temptation, waiting on the other side of this test. It's everything you've ever dreamed, everything you prayed for, everything he promised you you were going to get. So hold on. And don't let go, hold on, you're just that close, hold on, and never give up, say hold on, hold on, say hold on, and 
Don't let go, hold on. You're just that close, hold on. And never give up, say hold on, hold on. Cause waiting on the other side of temptation, waiting on the other side of this test is everything you've ever dreamed, everything you prayed for, everything he promised you that you were gonna get, see. Waiting on the other side of temptation, waiting on the other side of this test is everything you've ever dreamed, everything you prayed for, everything he promised you you were gonna get, so hold on. I don't know what you're dealing with, but hold on. I know it might get rough sometimes. I know it might get tough sometimes, but hold on. Family might walk away. Friends might leave you without words to say, but hold on. Because if God said it, he's sure to make it good. It's sure to make it good. It's the reason why you were made. It's the reason why you're still here today. Did you know that the Lord's got a plan for you? And if you trust him, there's no way you can lose. It's the reason why you're still here. It's the reason why you don't have to fear. Did you know that the Lord's got a plan for you? And if you trust them, there's no way you can lose your destiny, 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 your destiny. Waiting on the other side of temptation, waiting on the other side of this Tests. Everything you've ever dreamed, everything you prayed for, everything he promised you. When the going gets rough, when the going gets tough, you gotta hold on. I know it might get hard sometimes. I know it might be rough, but hold on. 